land of maple syrup, hockey sticks, and siding. All types of siding. Yes, I said siding. Why the obsession with siding? I don't know. But Canadians seem to have an obsession with the coverings of their house. I'm here today in northwestern New Brunswick to speak with two local siding enthusiasts. Hopefully we can get to the bottom of this siding obsession. We're now at the home of Johnny Canuck, a typical English Canadian who, like all Canadians, likes siding. Where does your love of siding originate? When I was younger, it was just for the millionaires, the fat cats, and uh, the big industrialists around town. Like our neighbor, Dad hated him. We called him Bus Driver Jim. He was a millionaire, and he had nice siding. Boy, he had nice siding on his house. <laughs> Boy's dad hated him. Anyway, he was a fat cat industrialist, bus driver, and those were the type of people, when I was younger, who had the siding. Mom used to make our clothes out of siding, eh? And it was great, especially in the winter time, because it kept out most types of weather and the elements. Rain, snow, sleet, that type of thing. But there were a couple of downsides. Actually, just one. A lot of chafing. Why is siding so important to you? Well, it's funny you should ask, eh? Because I think of siding as a security blanket for my family. I think of it as a security blanket for my house. And it also protects my family from wild animal attacks. There's a lot of wild bears around here. They're getting very smart. They can open up doors, windows. They can surf the internet now and even drive cars. I cut one trying to get into my Ford pickup truck. The thing I really don't agree with, eh, is the letting the bears wear the human type clothes. It still kind of creeps me out. The love of siding in Canada is not limited only to the English speaking population. French Canada has also caught the siding bug. And today I'm here to speak with one of French Canada's greatest siding proponents, Jean-Pierre Francois Ouellette. Bonjour. It's very good to speak to you today. As you can see, I have encased my entire house in siding. Luckily, it protects my family from the dreaded English Canadian and also most liquids. <laughs> that must certainly feel good. Now, JPFO, what's your favorite type of siding? <laughs> I like you. You have done your research. My favorite type of siding has got to be hands down aluminum siding. You never have to paint it and it comes with a special coating. Especially designed to keep out the English and most weather. It's like some sort of a magical force field. And it also maintains a separation between you and the elements around you. No notably the English. That's my favorite type of siding, too. Now, your love of siding seems exceptionally strong. Any reasons why? If you want me to be really honest with you, I will tell you the real story about my childhood days. Well, as a child, I got lost from my family, and I was raised until the age of 12 by aluminum siding in the woods. At the age of 12, I left my siding family and moved here. I will never forget what my father said to me as I left that day when I was 12 years old. And... Well, he told me that aluminum siding in the long term is both economical and aesthetically pleasing for any type of household renovation. I'm still not sure what he meant. He was always saying things like that. <laughs> By far, this has been one of the best assignments I've ever had. And I've learned something about Canadians during my few minutes here in northwestern New Brunswick. Whether it's vinyl siding or aluminum siding or tar paper, Canadians prefer to have something on their house than, than nothing. And that's something. Back to you, Jim. <laughs>